Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, D.C., and if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rustam Tiger Avila! All right, been through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, to back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, man. We are underway. You ready? Yeah. You ready? So all right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, huge blocks! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch there by Kabbalah. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Hands on your face. Hey, shoot! Keep your hands up! 
right hand on point. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice right in. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice one-two there. Oh, beautiful job here defensively, and then he lands the counter shot. So he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter striker. That was a nice fight. Try to establish that jab. So he lands a jab there, pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. And he counters with a left hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Beautiful punch. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like a basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, missed on that one. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Pretty good right hand. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there, just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Big shot land. That is a thud leg. Beautiful kick. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Back to the jab now. No good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds of round one. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> round two next. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the bottom. You've got to think that some of the opposition is going to lower that card or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Copy logs. Lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Mick 
mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big head kick land. Back and forth we go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Tags him with the left. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Just over three minutes to go. Whiffs on that offering. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands flush with that right hand. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. The right hand just misses. Straight right hand now, just misses. Tags him with the left. Huge block there. Hands up, hands up. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Kabalov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cutter. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Great punch landed with so much power. Yeah, left hook found its target. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get the night, that one landed right on the spot. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Kabbalah. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, the action continues here and now as our right. next round gets underway. Right. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Got clip with the right hand. Kabalov's shot there is blocked. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent's activity. Oh, God. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offering. Kabilov's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Nice one, two there. Big and kick. Nice counter shot there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just misses with the jab. Kabalov gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. It's a good right hand right there. Kabalov gets touched by that kick there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Sneaky head kick. Just misses with the right hook. Some nice back and forth action here. Straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Those jabs are landing, though. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. is true now the right hand trying to find a home for that right hand that kick blocked by Kabbalah oh what a punch liver kick if you take those kicks it's gonna shut your body up look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. Guys that pounded, and they're fighting behind him real well. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, 
I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Punch over the top. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Oh, big punch lands. Throws the right hand there. Leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Nice punch, man. How good is that right hand? Man, the body was really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Kabbalah. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and bunches. He's doing a great job. Just out of range with that right hand. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Back and forth we go! Just misses with the punch by Kavanaugh. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice punch there. What a body kick. Missed with that right hand. He blocks the shot. Oh, nice counter jab there. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Big punch lands through the middle. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Misses with that punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Nice stupid punch. Oh, 
All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Lands the right hand. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Take control of it. Take control of it. Move forward. When he sets on you, take him down. And all right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the cardio. You can tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepared for this fight. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Set the pace. Kabalov gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take the Back with that offering, DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Straight punch lands. Oh, yeah. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Just missed with the left there. Goes to the body there. How about that shit? Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Nice punch to the top. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, oh. Some real power shots here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Beautiful strike. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Left hook counter there yet again. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Great punch. Big leg kick land. Oh, strong uppercut for him there. That'll get his attention. Oh, man. Matt, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found his head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ndani. And you know we still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head.
good punch lands. Back and forth we go. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Wow. Nice straight punch. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Well, you've got to admire the approach there. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight. Lands the huge shot cleanly and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. The official decision is in here. Is first the contest called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 51 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this 